Hawk on Tavlov. We're here at the European Water Association's sixth annual event, and we've been hearing about river basin management plans. Uh, you're, as you were mentioning off camera to me a moment ago, it's something that you're very involved in. Would you explain a little about your role and what you do? Well, I'm, I'm working in an applied research institute uh, dealing with water and advisor to the Norwegian water authorities related to uh, the framework of the directive. As you know, Norway is not a EU member, but we are following the directives because we have this economic agreement together with uh, Iceland and, and uh, Liechtenstein. Uh, the, the directive was formally adopted s six years after the other countries, so we took the opportunity to, to select kind of the test sites, test uh, water management uh, river basins, about 30 I think, and um, we have learned a lot from that. But from, uh, from the second round of the six year planning circle, we are on, on line with the other, with the other countries. So, so that means that your implementation actually is in line with most of the European Union, is that what you're saying? Yeah, the implementation for the first 30 river basins were being in line with the other countries, but not for the whole country. But from the second round we will be on line for the whole of Norway along with the other countries. So, but for, for all practical reasons, you know, uh, science, uh, calibration, criteria, uh, lists of tasks, management practices, we are working together with the whole community and the system of uh, uh, the framework of the directive implementation system. Okay, now this particular event that you've attended today has only ended a few moments ago. It brings together a wide uh, variety of participants from across Europe. What do you think the value of events like this and the EWA is to, to, to policy? Yeah, the, the, the value, uh, it was a very good, good conference because it gave you an updated, very fresh overview of actually what are the river basin management plan status in Europe. And uh, we had this keynote speech from, uh, from Mr. Romero from the Commission that gave uh, a very uh, interesting and enlightening overview of the key issues and not to forget the, the risks and the bottlenecks of each of the issues. So of course you have technical bottlenecks, you have scientific bottlenecks, you have policy stakeholder involvement and not to forget the, the financial crisis uh, bottleneck because we there are limited funds uh, uh, available for implementing the measures. So it was a, a very useful overview and of course when you are in the country doing a river basin management plan, you, you want to know how is your neighbour performing, what is it with Sweden, Denmark, Germany, Italy and so forth, where are we in the picture? And I think this um, kind of benchmarking be be between countries is, is a very effective driving in bringing the whole framework of the directive a step forward.